Ladies and gentlemen, it is your lovely host here. It is Team Rabbi. And how are you doing on this Saturday's edition? I am doing very well. Anyway, I have social media accounts. And don't worry, it will be down below. And I will go more detail after this discussion. Capish? Good. Thank you for understanding. Anyway, so sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, or grab some drink, or maybe you want to look like a villain, and hear my thoughts, my opinions on the subject. And of course, the article will be down below, or the link will be down below. This one, there will be an article. Let's get into this. WrestleMania season will be here before you know it. Now, speaking of WrestleMania, this Monday, you get the traveling package, I think. Or you could get the, just don't get the um, traveling package, whatever you want to get. Whatever money you want to spend. I think I made a video on it yesterday or the day before, so check it out. Okay, now here is more information about WrestleMania weekend. W has official announced the traveling package for WrestleMania 38. And it's interesting to note that W Hall of Fame, Ceremony, and NXT TakeOver are not listed. Hmm, why is that? The traveling package, which were revealed on Thursday, go from... Um... Different... Uh, levels, okay, of the packaging, whatever you want to spend your money on, okay. Okay, the the pack. I mean, the package list include the following events: April first, SmackDown, Mecca's, um, uh, Mecca's, um, airline center, home of the Dallas Mavericks. You know the basketball. Team Ballin. I just did that. April 2nd and 3rd, WrestleMania 38, home of the Dallas Cowboys, AT&T AT Stadium. April 4th, Raw, America Line, America uh, Line Airline Center, same as SmackDown. And then WrestleMania Access, uh, K Bay, some of the center, so you know they always gotta find a place to home, find a place for hold it for access. Okay, now the 2020 WWE Hall of Fame ceremony was taped in the Thunderdome. No duh, the WWE NXT Takeover stand and deliver also did not take place during WrestleMania 37 weekend. So I don't know what's going to happen this time around. Is it going to be taped again or is it going to be a live audience? You know? Now probably you know already or don't know that once again it's going to be a two night event for WrestleMania. I'm okay with it but a lot of you fans are so upset that they should just stick with the tradition. I prefer have a two night event for WrestleMania. For example, it's just an example. What's going to happen if the main event were before the main event is so long and they, they, they got to hurry up and they want to save all the time for the main event. So now you have a two night event. So who's not on the first night could be on a second night. You know what I'm saying? And then last year, some people like the first night, some people like the second night. And a lot of other people prefer just have a, like Raw, SmackDown, NXT, the Hall of Fame, and even the W Access, and of course, WrestleMania. That has a lot of to take. Um, that's a lot of wrestling in one night or one weekend. And of course, you have a lot of other wrestling promotions. Not just W, so it's going to be a very jam-packed weekend if you want to spend the money, you know? You don't have to get the trolling package. You don't have to get the best seats. 
from my point of view, it's great to be there, to be there, you know? Of course, you know what's the best seats gonna be gone? It's the ringside seats. Um, behind the announcer uh, seats, always gone. The ramps, always gone. Uh, ringside's always gone off, I mentioned that. The other seats will fall into place. You know, I never, ever got floor seats. Well, I did, but not no ringside. Um, I never got better ramp. Probably got to get up early in the morning to get the best seats in the house. And I never got VIP seats. Probably that's for the super fans. And like, super fans, I'm assuming like going to every event from WWE, you know? Even... Raw and Smackdown. I think that's included. You know? So, you know, W loves those kind of fans because W fans, they don't give a crap if the show is good or poorly. They will st still spend their hard earned money to get out of the flipping house, get out of their own environment. So, let's see what's going to happen this time around. So, I don't know if they're going to have. I don't know if they're going to have a Hall of Fame this time around, or they might just... I don't know what's going to happen. No, no, I know they recorded it last year. I have no idea what's going to happen in 2021. I'm assuming they are. If they do, the headliner, in my opinion, is no offense. Not no offense. Hands down, is the Undertaker. Okay? Hands down. But we'll see what's going to happen. I know he makes a special appearances. That's fine. But don't let them wrestle ever again. They don't need to put any more money into Taker. Let the young guys do it. But I know you're going to say, but W just released a lot of these talent. I know. Isn't it crazy? That's W for you. They make some stupid decisions. So let me know if you have any desire going to meeting this year. Or are you going to skip this one? Or maybe you just want to go with one in Los Angeles, California. In a nice stadium. Okay, have a good one, and I'll see you guys tonight. Oh, I forgot to mention. Follow me on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok. All my social media accounts will be down below. If you really want to be part of the Raw Show in the future, the link will be down below. Double click it and DM me, and we discuss about any kind of topic you please. But don't make fun of the host. That is no good. Now, my here. Take care. Peace out. See you guys tonight.